Good morning. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. It's Chair Campbell. This morning's devotional, The Difference Your Life Can Make. The small reading from James chapter 5, verses 19 through 20. Before we get into our devotional, ask the Lord in a prayer in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because we're going to ask the Lord to shine to hearts, O loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind that we may understand your teachings in Scripture. Help us to apply what we learn, such as having conquered sinful desires. We may pursue a spiritual way of life, thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. Your Christ, your God, your light, to you we give glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, endless ages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. All right, good morning. Welcome back. So great is his faithfulness. Indeed, the Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So this morning's devotional, The Difference Your Life Can Make. James chapter 5, verses 19 through 20. My brothers, if any among you strays from the truth and someone turns him back, let him know that whoever turns a sinner from the error of his way will save his life from death and cover a multitude of sins. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. One of the Christian's greatest deterrents from sin is the life of another Christian. Some Christians maintain that it is none of their business if another chooses to sin. They are convinced that they are being judgmental if they respond to someone in sin. The world persuades them not to get involved, but the inaction prevents them from, from being effective intercessor. As Christians, we are aware that sin brings death. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Sin kills relationship, dismantles marriage stifles joy and destroys peace. When we see someone wander from the truth into error, how should we respond? When Jesus saw sin, it broke his heart. He wept over entire cities as he saw them rejecting the truth. Matthew chapter 23, verses 37 through 39. He prayed fervently for his disciples to be strong when they were tempted. John chapter 17. He wanted those who were heading towards spiritual failure Matthew chapter 26, verses 20 through 25 and verse 34. Jesus was even willing to die to save people from their sins because he knew the devastation that sin causes. Jesus never stood idle as those around him were led astray by their sin. He always took an active role in turning them back to God. Minding your own business will save you some discomfort, but it will not help a brother or sister who needs to return to the Lord. If you are truly aware of the grave consequences of those who continued in sin. You will be moved to weep even as Jesus wept. Pray fervently for your friend that will safeguard your motives and prepare you to minister to him. Be alert. Be alert in the event that God asks you to comfort your friend. If you do so, be loving and gentle lest you too be tempted. Galatians chapter 6 Verse 1, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Another beautiful reading, another beautiful reflection. And it can be summed up rather quickly. The difference that our lives can make. Make a lot of difference. Right? One of the greatest works of faith. Right? This is where we're going to end. One of the greatest works of faith. Is, restore, is restoring those who have gone astray, who have fallen away, right? The lost sheep. This is telling us that we all should go after the lost sheep, right? That maybe 99 won't go astray, but the one does. So our mission is to go after the one, right? To bring them back and restore them to truth. Bring them back. To Christ. Don't let them fall away. Nobody should have to die in their sins, right? See, that's the thing. But that the differences that we can make is huge. We we ourselves, if walking that path with Christ, we can make a difference. That's why each and every day I I always say be that example. We must imitate Christ. The best way that we can. We must always be that example. Even in our worst moments, we need to be that example. I always say, 
be that example with the good, the ugly, right? The good, the bad, the ugly. My definition of ugly is chaos. So even in chaos, you should be that example. Okay? One of the greatest works of faith right there is restoring those who have fallen away. It's a beautiful thing to restore those who have fallen away. Okay? We must always go after the lost sheep and always bring them back. I love you all so much. The greatest works of faith right there. It's always restoring those who have fallen away. We, we are our brothers and sisters' keeper. We are. It's important to have that role. You're a watchman, a watchwoman. You're a sheepdog, right? We're all sheep. But some of us are sheepdogs. Some of us are watchmen, watchwomen. We must take care of our flock. I love you all so much. That's where we're going to end. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord God, you spoke to us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners to comprehend, to comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hearers spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having a blameless life and conduct without reproach in Christ your Lord, you are light. To you we give glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever. Sages, amen. Our Father who art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the one. But yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages, amen. The Lord is our shepherd. Your part in peace, name the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all, go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. All right? May the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face shine upon you, be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever. Sages, amen. Chair Wesley Campbell, good morning, good day, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever and however these messages find you all, love you all so much. JPCE, spiritual talk, never ever hold back. Give him your heart, he does the rest. Seek your Father in heaven. Lay those treasures in heaven. I love you all so much. I'm out.